Opening up our top three of round 19 is Botafogo Zerison. After a beautiful move from Jeffinho, the striker took advantage of a mistake from the defence before belting the ball into Bento's top corner. What a beauty from El Toro! Harrison on fire! A wonderful moment for the lonely star, the player Jeffinho and the goal of Harrison Laza. And now Jeffinho had his head up here. In second place we have the Colorado hitman Ali Mal. The striker wasn't able to salvage a point for Inter, but he crowned a good performance with this stunner. Midfield maestro Edge Nilsson set it up, and then the front man picked his way past the Palmeiras backline before letting fly with an unstoppable shot. No chance of Weverton. <laughs> But the best goal award of the round just had to go to Cano. And what a magnificent shot it was. The Gallo's magician was at his very best when he hit the screamer against Corinthians. A wonderful goal from the number 11 in the stunning Estadio Mineral. Cano scored a really, really, really nice goal for Atlético Mineiro. International goalkeeper Daniel couldn't prevent his side from losing to Palmeiras, but he certainly did try. In this corner from Gustavo Scarpa, Daniel displayed all his reflexes to deny Zehafael's header at close range. The Interman needed a bit of help from the woodwork and his defence, but it was still a fabulous stop. For his brilliant save, Daniel gets the award in round 19. Best skill award in this round was an easy choice as we went for San Paolo's Nicao. But the player produced two bits of ability and we'll leave it up to you to decide which one was better. First, he was calm and collected as he left Felipe Bastos dumbfounded. Then, a delicate touch to lob Pedro Junquera and move into space. Congrats on the cheeky moves, Nicao. It's time now to take a look at the players and the manager that impressed us in the round. In goal, we've gone for Matthias Cavicchioli of America Mineiro. Our right back this week is Fagner of Corinthians. The two central defenders are Gustavo Gomez, Palmeiras, Eder of America Mineiro. At left back, Fabio Santos, Corinthians. Our three man midfield, Gabriel Menino Palmeiras, Pablo Maia San Paolo, a Hascaneta Flamingo. On the right wing, John Arias Fluminense. On the left, Jeffini Botafogo. And our solitary striker is Flamingo's Pedro. Our man on the bench is Victor Pereira from Corinthians. The best player of the round was the man responsible for Corinthians' terrific win away at Atletico Mineiro. Experienced left back Fabio Santos was solid in defence, but he was also cool headed under pressure as he led the Musketeers to their win from behind in the Mineral. First, he received the sweetest of crosses from Fagner and headed into the net to beat Everson. Minutes later, he slotted home the penalty to score his second of the match and grab all three points. Let's hear it for Fabio Santos, the best player in round 19 of the Brasileirão Açaí. At the halfway point of the Brasileirão, Palmeiras maintain their lead at the top of the table and have a four point cushion over arch enemies Corinthians. Surprise package Fluminense are now in third. Defending champions Atletico Mineiro drop to place down into fourth. Atletico Paranaense and Flamengo are coming up from behind. Down in the wrong half of the table, it's so very, very tight. Both Curitiba and Goyaz are on 22. Right below them are America and Hawaii on 21, but the sides currently in the drop zone are Cuiabá, Atletico, Goianiense, Juventude and Fortaleza of the bottom club once again.
Round 20 of the Brazil Rama Asai kicks off on Saturday as we go into the return matches. Up first are leaders Palmeiras as they travel to the northeast and a game against Sierra. There's also Goiás and Curitiba. Title contenders Corinthians against Botafogo and Giants Flamengo take on strugglers Atlético Goianiense. On Sunday, the big ties are Internacional as they come up against Atlético Mineiro in Porto Alegre and São Paulo away at an inform Atlético Paranaense. Later in the day, America Mineiro Abaí, Cuiabá Fortaleza and Red Bull against Juventude. Santa San Fluminense will wrap up the round on Monday in the Villa Belmiro. That's it for another week. We hope you're enjoying our coverage of the toughest and most exciting league in the Americas. And we will be back in the next round with more action from the Brazilian Rao Açaí.